Hey YouTubers. Uh, see it's about 10 o'clock at night right now on Saturday. Uh, got some storms rolled in here. Trying not to get my camera too wet here because I don't want to go pay another 150 bucks for one. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there. Uh, again, I got a YouTube channel. Or not a YouTube channel, a, a Facebook page called Kentucky Farming. I'll leave a link in the description below to this video. Uh, so check it out. And uh, see here, I'm going to get up here where I can get a better shot without getting this camera wet. It rained, done gone back behind the house. Now I'm in the basement house, is what I live in here. Yeah. Here's the car. There. Light's still on in it. Security light there. See here, I'm going to update you all on everything. Uh, I've been holding back videos. I've been uh, taking them and kind of saving them, holding them back, and. Uh, because I know stuff's going to get kind of slow a little bit now because got everything planted, everything tore up and all that stuff and got the hay harvested so uh, what we got to do now is just go in and get it all up on the uh, drop deck trailer with the L9000 Ford and with the L10 Cummins in it 7 speed <coughs> heard a little burp for you uh, I'll get some more videos up of it and uh, hopefully be able to get a video of the uh, 560 loading it. Uh, I'll probably do another uh, shout out video or something to, uh, here later on. And uh, just keep y'all updated on stuff if I uh, have not gotten more videos up. Again, my Kentucky farming page, it is, uh, I made it to just kind of keep up with the crops. That way y'all can kind of tell what's going on and everything with the crops, how much the progress is in them and the rain and stuff. That way I won't have to make these videos all the time, just riding around and looking at the crops. Just easier to take pictures uploading them on Facebook and just go on about my day uh, this rain starting to suck a lot of our ground is kind of swampy ground anyways and it holds water for a while especially the place where we got about uh, 25-30 bales sitting at this rain right here is going to put us out of commission. And uh, we ain't going to be able to get them bales. <clears throat> Car coming here. Big lightning streak there. Don't know if that really showed up good on camera or not. Oh, that's my neighbor down there. My cousins. Shoot, I thought they was done in.
This drain sucks. Ain't had as uh, much rain as uh, Broadview Acres. Check him out. Uh, ain't had as much rain as uh, he has up there in Ohio. Uh, had some videos up here a while back and uh, he had a pretty good amount of rain up there. He just stand in water and just, just like ponds out there. We actually got some uh, uh, other people around here that's big time farmers got around 2,000 acres of tobacco out. That's, that's a lot of tobacco, more than I want to deal with. 10 acres of tobacco is too much to deal with, actually. Shoot, I wouldn't even want, I wouldn't even want 4 or 5 acres of it. The hell with that tobacco, there's too much work involved in it and getting the hands up and uh, getting them rounded up to come in and cut it, top it and all that crap. You just, last year we pissed in the wind doing that and and it was uh, on up late in February before we ever got it all stripped and gone off to the sale barns or to the back of the warehouse. I mean, we, we just, we was riding by a hair on there. So, uh, that's why we just cut out of the tobacco business this year. Just went on to nothing but corn and soybean. But anyways, uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Check out my YouTube, or forgive me here, I'm a little bit sleepy and tired and got a little bit of a buzz going, so, uh, yeah. Comment, rate, subscribe, and check out my Facebook page, Kentucky Farming, keep up with our crops. Peace out.